guess we're just getting dropped into it, huh? Good evening. Hello. Seems you made it just in time. Yay. Hey, big mac. I think that's just a car backfiring. Really? It sounded more like a gunshot to me. Have you ever heard gunshots? Haven't we all at some point? Yeah, well... See? It sounds more like a car exhaust. I don't know. It's too dry. Yeah, but gunshots give more echo. What if it's a firecracker? Ah, boss. Firecrackers? Yep, a couple years ago, there was an incident where some dude killed a cop. He managed to slip away because his pistol was mixed up with the usual mega Christmas firecrackers. Nah, it sounded too hollow for firecrackers. Oh, whatever. This is not a morning talk show. I'm not paying you to chit-chat about meaningless things. At least, not amongst yourselves. Right. We shouldn't lose time over a car's exhaust. <clears throat> hey, Murdoch. to mix drinks and change lives. <clears throat> Welcome to Valhalla. Alright. Hello. I'm looking for some information. What kind of information? Wait, today is Valhalla Day, right? <laughs> Make sure I was doing the right stream. What kind of information? What can you tell me about a girl nicknamed Crimson Rose? Sounds like a tacky online handle. Although, tacky online handle is a bit redundant. Do you know anything about her? No, sorry. I have 80 dollars here that might refresh your memory. Now that you mention it, I do remember something. Really? Yeah, now I'm totally sure that I have no idea whatsoever of, what you're of who you're talking about. Nothing at all? Nothing. Man, you're a sucky bartender, not having any info I need. <sighs> well, first of all, why assume that I just happen to have the info you conveniently need? Does that girl frequent this place? Is there any proof that I might have the info you so desperately need? Well, I... And second, you're not going to get anywhere by offering me physical money. In fact, what are you doing with physical money? Do you want to get mugged so badly? Yeah, well... Moreover, even if I did know something, do you really think $80 is enough? You can do almost nothing with $80. It's not, it's not enough to have a decent lunch. Why are you scolding me? Why did you call me a sucky bartender for not conveniently having the info you need? <clears throat> I... Wait, of course! You want all deals to be clean, so you need me to spit buddy at the bar. <clears throat> That's how it works, right? A spit buddy, you give me the info. Maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> okay then, give me a drink, but keep it under $80. <laughs> Nothing. Actually, every drink here is priced at five hundred dollars. <laughs> I 
Except it's also not true, but... As I said, don't worry, it's not actually true. It's like... Gut punch. Is there another one that I could give him? No, just a gut punch. Here. Okay then, do you know anything about the girl? No. But you said... Maybe, maybe not. Turns out that it's maybe not. You were the one deluding yourself into thinking that I might know something. And like I said, $80 is nothing. So, I, I need to spend more. I'll give you some info. Spend all the money you want, but I know nothing, and no amount will change that. Can I at least get my buddy back? Why? The order is right, isn't it? I guess. So, are you looking for that girl, mister? Bob Delay. Art Bob Delay. I'm a private detective, it's what I do. So, I'll assume you're either looking for a missing girl or working for a creepy online stalker. You're assuming the girl I'm looking for is innocent or lost. My volume just really loud. Oh no, it's. it's not. It's not any louder than how it normally is. It's just. it seems. Really loud. The song is just really loud. Anyway. She's not. She's half of the so called Reapers of the city. Two guns for hire that work for whoever's resourceful enough to find them and wealthy enough to pay them. Crimson Rose and Cobalt Lily, they call themselves. They still sound more like teenagers' internet nicknames. So who wanted you to track her? I don't know. I got the letter with the instructions and a paycheck. And what if it's a prank? I have the buddy, so what do I care if it is? <coughs> Besides, considering the amount that I was able to cash in with that check, it'd be a pretty wasteful prank. I see. Still, any information or rumors you could give me? They don't have to be related to the girl. Why do you need them? It's always good to keep up with the local going odds. Well, let's see. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I can't think of anything right now. Most of the conversations you hear in here aren't rumor-worthy. Humor-worthy, maybe, but not much about current events. At least not beyond what you see in the news. <coughs> <coughs> Damn it, what kind of bar is this if you can't gather the word on the street? What kind of film noir what world do you think we live in? You might know something if you're so fixated on finding some kind of information. I don't know what you're talking about. Is this something that might help me, Gil? I don't. I certainly don't. And I'm offended by the suggestion that I do. He knows something. Well, on second thought, maybe it's better if you don't get involved with him. Well, this has been a major waste of time. Here I thought all the noise BTC bars have made lately would be useful for something. Noise? What noise? You don't know? But I'm asking for a reason. You'll find out soon enough, don't worry. In any case, I guess I'll have another drink and leave. Uh, what can I get you? Ah, have a crazy example. Hmm, simple enough. Alright, cool. He's very straight to the point. I'm okay with this. Realdehyde. Three bronze extract. Three powder delta. One fire machine. Oh, flip it. Here. Okay, then. This is going to be deduct. This is going to be deducted from the eighty dollars from earlier, right? No. Fine. Hello. Oh, uh, there's going to be something. This week has been slow as hell. The only good thing I've heard about is this girl who threw herself off the roof of a nearby ball. The whole thing about a woman catching her midair makes me think it's totally made up. Aside from rumors that the Harbingers are looking to cause trouble at a bank today, no, not really. Damn it. 
Wait, who told you that? It appeared on the news, didn't it? Yeah, but the date the Harbingers wasn't used. Though Glitch City Outlet has reported that themselves. There are rumors that someone or something is keeping them silent. And even the international outlets aren't using the name Harbingers. They're avoiding acknowledging the organization yet for some reason. Hey, Dragonite. So you're either one of them or somebody in the know told you about it. Wow. Oh, can be surprisingly sharp. <coughs> Yeah, uh, Donovan D. Donson was in here for the last three days, actually. <laughs> oh, I'm hoping Donovan shows up. Please. Really? I wonder if they'll notice the glasses and the idol sign. I mean, sure, I can't think of anything that would be useful at Bobby Pib right now, but... Guess not. Can you talk about anything interesting? Uh, interviewing the idol that had a show a couple days ago, dealing with messy interns. Uh, par for the course, I guess. I see, I see, that's... Gunshot! The backfire... Fire... Firecrackers! <laughs> God. Hey, what do you think that sound was, just now was? Felt like something very heavy being dropped. Something heavy? Come on, that's not even close! It's definitely more like an explosion of some kind. Oh, you can clearly hear the clashing of metal. Something that was both made out of metal, it feels very heavy fell out. That's what made that sound. Whatever it is, it's not normal for it to be repeating so often. I wonder if something's happening. Ah. I hear there's gaming spats going on. Maybe they took the god plate there. <coughs> Which means... <coughs> Which means gunshots. If that's the case, I just hope they don't come too near us. Well, I've gotta go. Seeds coming here wasn't a waste of time after all. Really? Really, I just have a different needs, but there will come a time when this person might help me. Goodbye. Oh, please come again, I guess. Gangs, then. Unlikely, this is unicorn territory. They've always been a neutral and important third party in other gangs deals. The who what now? <sighs> I'll just pretend I heard nothing. Thank you. Left me thinking about the whole noise from BTC bars thing. What's up with that? I think I heard something about money laundering through bars. Don't take my word for it though. I see. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Oh god! Who? Who are you? I'm <laughs> too much clothing, hello fellow youngsters. Oh my god, I love this. Just like all the scrolling text from like the chat. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is fun. I'm Shooting Chan, giving you live video feed of my life and adventures 24-7. Bathroom time and naughty moments only available to premium users. It's only $9.99 a month. Go premium now. <laughs> oh boy. Um. It's Friday night. You all know what that means. It's time for streaming Chan's escapades. It's this site. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fucking Twitch. <laughs> Today's escapade is brought to you by ShiningFinger.moe Leaders of VR adult entertainment since 2069 My psychotic Sonic Buy a year of premium membership and you'll get a code Exchange the code for a free trial of VR experience modeled after yours truly Oh my god, it's <laughs> so much chat Hey kids wanna die <laughs> I just saw the fucking text and said, hey kids, wanna die. Oh, that's great. Excuse me. Today I picked the shoddiest, nastiest, smelliest, ugly bar I could find downtown. <laughs> hey, Jiggy. And sadly, it actually looks half decent inside. So much for going to a crap hole bar that smells like dog urine. Excuse me? But no matter, tonight I'll give you an escapade you'll never forget. 
What did you walk into? I'm not sure myself. <laughs> this character has just showed up and like has got a, a, a chat scrolling. So I've no fucking idea what's going on. This feels like talking to Jay Station, <laughs> probably. That slapper and kicker out of my bar. Uh, I don't have that. I don't have. Hey, you. Where's the bartender? Uh, you're talking to her. Very funny. Uh, where is he, really? Right in front of you. Hey, you. The pretty boy over there. Where's the bartender? You're looking at him. No way. No hot, shirtless guy playing with fire and serving drinks while flirting with you? No sexy, scantily clad girl jiggling around the place? You're telling me you two dressed like fucking waiters are the bartenders here? Yep. Seems that way. Is that a problem? Of course it's a problem! Friday nights are peak viewing hours! I need something sexy or enticing to keep them interested. Oh well, there's an easy solution to that. There is? Yeah, just take your top off. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Did you see the fucking like, chat? <laughs> the minute she said that. God. You might need to take off your bra, too, depending on how the traffic goes. Wait, you're quite flat. Do you even use a bra? <laughs> God. <laughs> Alright, now she's likable. <laughs> Piercing Lyra, no. Come on, one of us is gonna have to take off their top and it ain't gonna be me. I already did that once today. Ah, and it's too late to go somewhere else. By the time I'll even find a nastier bar, they'll be closed. What's your policy on wearing pants? Somebody tried to have me fired for wearing a skirt, so we deal with that on a case-by-case basis. That's not a concrete answer. I need a binary yes-no answer. My viewers have the attention span of fruit flies. Are <laughs> <laughs> going to the Kira Miki concert? Oh, jeez. Doing that again, huh? If they wanted to use their brains... <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> that chat scrolling is just intimidating. They wanted to use their brains, they think they'd watch something like this. I need to keep them entertained, and the fact that you still have your shirt on isn't helping. Wait, I know, give me a drink. Big one, the nastiest one you can think of. Okay. Um, hello, surface here, please? Wow, it's like my brain shut down. Uh, sure. Nasty. Drink. Uh, mainly in promo drinks are both pretty nasty, but that's my opinion. Okay. Um, promo... Mainly, is there anything between the two of these? Oh my god, the fucking... <laughs> Casually insulting your audience 10 out of 10 stream. <laughs> and it was a mistake. Kind of unbearable, mostly for fans. I like the app. Grizzly Temple's probably a good start. Do I drink? I can't. 
Um, so I'm on, uh, I'm on HRT, so I'm on, I'm on hormone replacement therapy, so, uh, alcohol would, um, would fuck with my hormones, so I'm not allowed to drink. Um, and before I was on HRT, I was 20. So, <laughs> I have not been able to, like, actually get drunk. So like, I turned 21, and that's when I got on HRT. Uh, prior to that, I was 20, so not legal drinking age. So we'll go with Grizzly, Ch Grizzly Temple. Not really missing much? Alright. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, but at the current, or like, I, I will never, I will probably never know how a drunk doodle is like. I'd probably be hella depressed anyway. <laughs> Hello the infiltrate, uh, infiltrator, welcome to the chat, I hope you enjoy your stay. Also, hey Brian. <laughs> We have gotten to, uh, this one. <laughs> Here. Alright then, cheers! Oh, I think you should chug it down, so... Quickly. Enough sleep deprivation has similar effects. Fair enough. Drunk Doodle would turn completely violent up here being a patron? Probably. Yes, this one. Yeah, this one's interesting. <laughs> ah, it's like it hit me, but it, I didn't feel it until a few seconds later. Is this what like, being kicked in the balls feels like? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I've decided I'll just get really wasted. That's gotta be fun enough, right? Uh, if you say so. Okay, in the meantime, what can you tell me about this bar? Uh, what do you mean? Weird stories, fun stuff, interesting facts. <laughs> I'm just reading chat, give me a sec. Uh, you're being seen by an average of 6,000 people. Make their time worth it. Well, let's see then. Uh, last weekend we held a party for the sa Safer Toy Company. And? Well, it's a company run completely by dogs. Really? Well, this place was completely overrun by corgis. Oh, we get the story! <laughs> I've been wondering what the fuck was up with the dogs towards the beginning of the game. Wait, wait, wait. Corgis? Did you really serve drinks to Corgis? Oh my god, the W's. I've got two chats to worry about now? I do. It's awful. <laughs> Tuxedo clad, talking Corgis, yeah. Wow, awesome! Wait, you're not shitting me, right? I wish I was shitting you, trust me. What else, what else? Um, let's see. Uh, Donovan D. Dawson from the Augmented Eye was here for three nights in a row. That perfumist, sh uh, that perfume chauvinistic bastard? Ah, there's that word again. Just the other day, someone from the Augmented Eye interviewed me, actually. What did they ask? Oh, the usual bullshit. Who I was, what I did, future plans, inspirations. The one that interviewed me was this small, meek girl with glasses. She seemed a bit bitter, though. I wonder why. But enough about that. Wait, can I see that glass over there? Hmm? Sure. Miss Signature. Is this Kira Miki's autograph? Yeah, she came in here before her last concert. Get out! Really? Is this some kind of secret hidden bar of the stars or something? <coughs> God, this voice is actually... It's, it's like, scratching my, my throat. <laughs> it was the voice that I've chosen, so it's the voice I'm gonna go with. Not really, we're just in the right place at the right time. What kind of person is she when she's not on stage? I've tried getting a meeting with her, and she actually seemed willing, but she's always busy. 
She's a very nice girl, actually. Uh, she seems to be completely invested in her work. She loves what she does, and it shows. You'd think she'd be some sort of diva, but as far as I'm concerned, she's one of the nicest people I've met. I knew it! I knew she was nice! Her passion shows in her concert, you know? She's so spontaneous. Her performances are never the same. Every time she sings Shine Spark, I feel like my soul is warming up like a high-performance computer. Shut <laughs> Oh god, all the eights. <laughs> I find myself singing it in the shower all the time. And those who pay premium came to hear me sing every day at $99.99 a month. Go premium now. <laughs> that aside, I was about to call bullshit on what you said. But I guess you do have some sort of proof for everything. Can we- can I keep this glass? No. Pretty please? No. Party pooper. <coughs> At least this bar might be more interesting than I initially thought. The one thing that'd make it perfect is if the pretty boy over there had a pretty- had a past with a KGB. <laughs> oh, um... My god, the premium ad reads. <laughs> <laughs> Any tier threes yet? Oh, I've seen several. <laughs> I've seen several run by here. But yeah. The pretty boy over there had a pass with the KGB. Uh, about that. <laughs> Who told- mm, Yeah, that would be crazy, huh? Are you gonna order anything else? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. The whole getting wasted thing. I heard of a drink called a bad touch. Give me one of those, please. A big bad touch. Coming right up. Alright. <laughs> God, the chat scrolling guy while I'm making the beer is just... <laughs> it's great. So it's a big, big one, so I need four. Two Powder Delta, so I need four. <laughs> Ma'am, yeah, it's been fucking a big bad touch. Uh, all on the rocks and mixed. Here. I was expecting something dirtier. Yeah, all of Brian, I can pour in a bit if that's what you want. No, not that. It's such a dirty name, it feels like a drink ought to come in a phallic, phallic glass with this. Or be this thick white liquid. I want to skyrocket at the watchers at least threefold. Do you have anything like that? <laughs> Pander to that audience. <coughs> oh, nope. Uh, I'll just have to make do with the condensed milk when I get home. Friendly reminder that today's escapade is brought to you by ShiningFinger.moe. Leaders of VR adult entertainment since 2069. Buy a year of premium membership for a neat coat. Said code will get you a net free trial of a VR experience with a model based on Moe. Oh, on Moe. Wah. Wah. It's hard, it's hard to do that with the raspy voice that I'm giving this character. Also, hello. Call it. Hello, Remember. also fair. <laughs> What's the deal with that VR experience? Well, a fan made an NND model of me. <laughs> Miku Miku dance model. Miku Miku dance. <laughs> when Shining Fingered asked me about a model for our partnership, I just contacted him. He got money for polishing the model a lot more. I got my partnership. We all won. I even got him a year of free premium, free me, free premium membership in the VR set. Oh God, it's so hard to do this voice. <laughs> That's nice. Wait, what's in and D? Don't tell me how I was right. You need you dance. Oh my god. Yes. I was. See, I was joking. <laughs> Niku Niku dance. <laughs> I asked for a reason. Well, it's music videos with 3D models. 
Yeah, it sounds like a good enough explanation. I see. To be honest though, the model is a bit... ...needier than me. Not that I mind it though, considering the use it gets. Hmm. <clears throat> you know, I was expecting you to be more... ...scared when I said you were being watched by a lot of people. It's hard to be scared when you can't... ...see these people. It's true. But... It's very true. Oh, Jesus. Have Heaton do the raspy voice so my throat could catch some slack? Nah, that's fine. I can keep I, doing it. I was about to say, I can if you want. Nah, I'm, I'm good. I can keep doing it. Okay. But there's... But they're still here, you know? Sure, they're behind screens and sometimes in the opposite corner of the world. But every single one of my viewers is a real person with a real life. Not being here doesn't make them any less real. I understand, but it's just not the same. They're not here visibly paying attention to me. I don't get paranoid because of my phone contacts. That's true, I guess. So tell me, what made a lady like you become a bartender? Well, it's not exactly an exciting story. Does it involve a man? No. What about a crime? Nope. A childhood promise? Nah. A religious vow? A what? You're not gonna tell me what you did. You're not gonna tell me that you just decided to out of the blue quit your job and start bartending. That's actually what happened, sort of. Oh, come on! No epiphany? Quarter-life crisis? Not even a hot teacher somewhere along the line? <coughs> I'm cute! <laughs> doodle like Tones hacks up- anime. I was gonna say, Doodle Tones hacks up along on cue. Yep. Life isn't always a young adult novel where every decision is a road code. And that's a problem. One third of my audience are teens that shouldn't be allowed to watch my streams. <laughs> you can't acknowledge your fucking demographics <laughs> publicly, are you an idiot? <laughs> fucking content creation 101, you dumb bitch. Come on now. Unfucking believable. Some of us curate our audiences like matured adults. <laughs> Idiot. Dumbass. God. Throw me a bone here. It must be a nice mystical story you can tell me about yourself, Miss Bartender. Well. <clears throat> yes. Well, sometime after I started working, I got an interesting client. <clears throat> he was a DRKSOL, a really old li little model. Apparently, his power supply was running low, his charger was destroyed, and he didn't have the money to buy upgrades or replacements. He also seemed to have neglected his maintenance. He was from the time when the collective source was in a cloud storage system, so he wouldn't be uploaded there once his body ran out of energy. Keep going. It was weird, you know. He was only little. He was the only little I'd seen with a clear-cut fear of morality or mortality. Yeah. No transcendence for him. He would disappear once his battery was uh, ran out. It's like knowing you'll vanish while everyone else passes on to heaven. He said. Oh man. I guess he felt bad about bar uh, burdening someone else with his problems. So he went and gave me a fingertip of his that fell while we were talking. Before he left, he said, if you remember me, maybe a part of me will transcend. Um. Bravo! Bravo! Touching, full of feeling, completely awesome! I'd pay to see a movie like that. So what happened to that finger? Oh, I made a pendant out of it. I carry it with me at all times. Even while bathing? Almost all times. All times. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Streamer Chan is a very interesting character. I am a fan of her. <laughs> now that I think about it, how much do you handle the stream if you want to watch a movie or something? I have a plugin that lays mo mosaic censorship over whatever I watch on TV or in the theater. 
Well, that's how you get around copyright, I guess, huh? Yeah, dude, fucking imagine watching a reaction streamer where the fucking video is just mosaic the whole time. I see. Okay, this is getting stale. I'm gonna heat this up even if I have to do it myself. We need to drop a cow in here, Miss Bartender. Get me drunk. I don't care how. Just do it. Okay. Alright. Um. Oh. Start scrolling through and find us. I guess one <laughs> most carpentry. They said that that was like the thing that gets people drunk, right? That's, That's it. Only That's the beginning. So let's find the one with the most. Uh, on five. Five. So cobalt belted it so far. Nine. Nine. <laughs> okay. So, Fringe Weaver, maybe. I doubt we're gonna find something more than a, the fringe, fringe Weaver, but we'll see. Yeah, it's or the Fringe Weaver. weaver. Make it a big? She said no matter what. She, says, she did say no matter what. Also, what is, which is this song? Because I just picked up a bunch of like random ones. What is this song that is playing in the background? Is this is a fucking bop. Face of the Titans. Oh, regarding Face of the Titans. Or reprise. Face of the Titans. Whatever. I might have to look this up. Aged, but this isn't fucking fun. aged. Yeah. There you go. Hit that shit. So lightheadedness, clumsy tongue, on sweaty knees, weak arms, spaghetti. <laughs> 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 Uh, you were being asked if you've seen the latest episode of My Dress Up Darling yet. I watched it right before I joined the stream. It is adorable and I love it. Can't Mar and his baby. Can't, can't feel my legs. <laughs> Alright, let's get it on with the loot stuff. First, I'll try to guess your bus size. Oh no. I must warn you, I have a 90% success rate with this. Hmm, I'd say... B, but not enough to fill a hand, or big, not big enough to fill a hand, but not small enough to make you look like a child. You're a size B, right? I'm not disgusting, my bust. <sighs> Don't be like that, I can tell you're a B cup. Your attitude makes me think you're an S, and your behavior makes me think your blood type is AB. So, how many did I get right? Who knows? Please, let me get on with this. I need you to cooperate if this is gonna be a success. Can I ask something? Finally! What's the point of getting drunk if you're going to behave the same way? <laughs> I <laughs> God, just call her out like that on her own stream. You have <laughs> murdered her in public, on live, unfucking believable. <laughs> I guess it is kind of redundant. Because you see, I'm drunk 24 7. Eh? Knowing people want to watch me do anything and everything, seeing that viewer count steadily raise as I take more risk and become more adventurous, it's a feeling that neither alcohol nor sex can compare to. Speaking of sex, if I get lucky enough tonight, I only need you to pay $99.99 to see what happens afterwards. Go premium or go home. <laughs> Jesus, these ad reads. Sub to my <laughs> only sub to my only fans, we will have a seamless uh a seamless stream swap. <laughs> this, this is the most like ad reads I think I've ever done. <laughs> it's powerful. Um, 
do you really get lucky if the other person knows they're being streamed? You'd be surprised by how many are actually turned on by that. <clears throat> how do you deal with people who don't want their identities revealed? Everything is written here! By being captured by this camera, you hereby provide consent to the use of your face. On all material produced by Streaming Chan LLC. I'm not sure how legal that is. I was about to say, I feel like that doesn't work. <laughs> People believe it is, and I've yet to be troubled by a lawyer. It's funny though, when you're on the street, unless it's somebody really hot, you can't recall their faces. But learn their name and suddenly they're a fucking snowflake that's better than all the rest. Ugh, this is weird. <laughs> Feeling sleepy. Well you did that's... ask me to get you drunk. Why is it a, why is it weird? <laughs> That's a weirdly, like, <coughs> poetic sentiment, because she's right. Like, if you walk past, like, a ton of people in a crowded intersection, you don't, like, their their faces don't really register to you, unless their appearance is, like, really unique in some way. But when you know that person, suddenly they, they become distinct in a crowd, which is really interesting when you think about it like that. Yeah. Streaming chan? Poetic? Question mark? the karma tree. <laughs> <laughs> right. Gone right? Gone wholesome? Because I haven't felt sleepy in quite some time. In fact, I've been sleep deprived for a while now. How long? A week? A week? Weeks are the ones with 30 days, right? Jesus. Oh. <laughs> no. Get some sleep. Healthy, cool, and normal. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally sleepy. I can feel my eyes getting heavier. And there's this weird lag when I try to move. What's up with that? Anyway, I think I'll take a little nap here before storming off and continuing the night. If you'll excuse me. Uh, actually, yeah, do you want to take Gillian? Should I call a cab? Uh, risk waking her up? Leave her be. I'd rather break the rules and let her sleep than deal with her again. I'm gonna take my break now. It's been a while since I've needed a cigarette this badly. Alright. <laughs> Such a good game. And that voice really fucking scratched at my throat. <laughs> yeah, I fucking bet, Zeus. <laughs> well, the thing is, right? Doing that voice, though, it's not too much different from what I do um, with the with my character Winnie. Mm -hmm. It's not too different. It's, it's basically the same thing. It's just make my voice as raspy as possible. <laughs> Just kind of, kind of go with it. So it's not something that I'm not used to, but it definitely scratches my throat. <clears> throat> mhm. Mm I get you. <clears throat> anyway. Um. It is now safe to keep playing. What is it? What is it really? Love the aesthetic of this game, like in like in all ways, like in its UI and stuff too. Big Mike's asking if you've ever heard of Black Eyed Kids. I have. I love I love the urban legend about black eyed children. They're very scary. <clears throat> Don't let random people into your house, kids. Ah, the lovely sensation of feeling like you're forgetting something. Hold up. Feeling better? Pressure does wonders for you. Well, for a given value of fresh, anyway. See what is first. I insist that it sounds like dynamite. 
Well, it was too long to be dynamite. It sounded more like some heavy-duty tool. You're a heavy-duty tool. Oh, there's more than one person. Okay. Yes, I am. Wait, that... Damn it. Oh, welcome back. Who the fuck is... Where's Yoon? <laughs> Where is Yoon when we need him? Is Yoon on? Uh, I'll look. Yes. I'll, I'll DM him. Hang on. I just DM'd him the robot twink is here, where are you? <laughs> I just went I just went into his DMs all caps. Yoon, the pretty boy robot is here. You're calling Summon him! him Somebody in say pretty robot boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put on my headset. God so fast! <laughs> you really, uh, yeah. Oh, I was online. I'll read the girl. Alright. Just there waiting for- there we go, there it is. I could have sworn the place looked a lot more... pink the last time we came? Maybe it's the lighting. Hey, bartender, what did that noise just now sound like to you? Today it sounds like construction, but Betty here says it's dynamite or something like that. I don't have a robot filter, so you guys are gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I do, not, but I haven't set it up. <laughs> not you two. Eh? Do you think it's dynamite, then? What? No, I say it's a backfire. Oh, oh. dang, nice! Nice! You, <laughs> get, you, get, you get two rolls! This <laughs> is so good, coming up on the up and up. It's a gunshot! I like to think- I like I to believe he's still off in the distance. <laughs> Firecrackers! See, those sounds have been going on all night and we can't figure out what they are. Well, we aren't here to discuss that. We're here to... Um... Who is he? Give me a yeah. second. Give me a second. Yeah. Ah, dang it. Oh no. Yeah? There we go. Gillian, nice to meet you. I don't know. You have more of a John face. <laughs> Where was he last weekend? I don't know. No, I don't care. You already made made amends for leaving me to fend off all those dogs. By the way, Yoon, you missed it. We did learn. What was with the dogs? What was with the dogs? It was a toy company. What? A toy a toy company ran by um, tuxedoed talking corgis. Oh my god! Art. This game is fucking art. <clears throat> it is. Anyway, what do you want? Beer. Oh, sweet. Okay, let me try Let me try this out. Let me try it out. Am I a robot? Am I a robot? No. Not yet. Dang it! No! Cloudfish, you've- you've- you've, uh, you've squa- you've swindled me. Oh, what the hell. I'll have a beer, too. Two beers. One right up. I'm gonna fucking figure this out. Aldehyde. I will be a fucking robot. Be the clear Kenny you were promised you would be. <laughs> you were assigned by me. <laughs> That's weird. It usually just works when I turn it on. Hmm. Yoon. Okay. Thank you. Man, after work beer is always the best beer. 
Maybe if I... So Maybe tell me, bartender. Just call me Jill. Jill? That's a nice name. How's business lately? As usual. Wait, I guess you don't really know what the usual means for us. Uh, we're not the kind to really be filled to the brim during rush hours, and we don't have that many regulars. So, it's just the same. Nothing's changed. I guess when we came here with all the dogs, it was quite the change of pace, huh? Oh, we're the source of the dog. <laughs> you have no idea. Um, I have a question, Jill. Is it about the girl sleeping next to you? <laughs> Premium <laughs> sub with <laughs> sub with tweet time. <laughs> Please don't wake her up. <laughs> do you do do you regularly let people sleep here? No, but I'd rather have her sleeping than talking. Ah, uh, jeez. Should you be saying that with at least 6k people listening? <laughs> Let them hear. I don't care. 6k people? She calls herself Streaming Chan. She's been streaming her life 24-7. Sounds familiar. I think one of the dogs talked about seeing someone doing that. I don't know if it's the same person. So 6,000 people are watching and hearing us? Uh, considering the way she's sleeping, they're probably only hearing us. Her camera is against the table. I don't know how many are still in the channel, though. So there will be a lot more witnesses if something is said. Do, you, do any of you have a criminal past? Nope. Just a minor charge of petty vandalism. Hot. <laughs> what did you do? Painted graffiti outside of my high school saying Miss Thompson's a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I... Well, then there, I guess. Why'd you do that? Because Miss Thompson <laughs> was a cunt. <laughs> Fair enough. She constantly- <laughs> I was about to do, to say exactly that in jest, and then she <laughs> just said it, and I'm like, oh, good, excellent. We're all on the same page. She constantly humiliated whoever got her questions wrong. She also constantly bullied two of my classmates. True, I got a week of suspension and had to clean the wall. But it gave everyone the courage to speak up. So... How's stuff up at Doglandia? Well, we recently struck a deal with Farmer Fabrics to start a docky clothing line. <clears throat> Farmer Fabrics? That name rings a bell. It's that textile company where the owner believes herself to be an alpaca. Oh. Yeah. That one. We had her here some time ago. She got drunk and... Uh, so much saliva everywhere. Oh. But anyway, dog clothes? We hired a new employee and she showed the higher up some designs. After a couple of talks, they decided to give the clothing product production a try. Those designs were embarrassing, you know? But something tells me that's why they were up. You guys want anything else? Ah, oh, whatever the shit sky works. Let's see. I'll have a Brantini. Two Brantinis, then. I will get this shit to work, I swear to god. Watch it work as soon as they leave. 
I know, right? <laughs> I have, maybe I have to set up my microphone? Uh, I think it is. It should be. Should be set up. Well, set it up better. I don't know how to do that! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do that. <laughs> We've already been here for like 40 minutes. Well, assemble better. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> you have such a wimpy taste in drinks, deal. Because I'm gay, Patty. Now all of us spent their weekends in college partying like maniacs. Actually, not all of us went to college. It's true, he is a robot. He is a robot. You missed nothing. Sometimes I wish I could go back in time and kick myself. Hmm. Thing doesn't fucking work. Something on your mind? That girl that's designing the clothes. Laura? What about her? She's cute. She should take more care Lesbian. of her parents. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, I mean, right now she fits the unkempt cutie category, so... Lesbian! <laughs> so well that it's almost painful. It's so cliche that I can't help but cringe while looking at her. Cringe. It's like when you see something that's a cheesy movie cliche, but you just feel the need to kick whatever the hell it is. Kick? Betty, I didn't think I'd have to say this to you twice in the same month, but you shouldn't kick people. Relatable. <laughs> Relatable content. <laughs> twice in the same month, huh? I love Betty. I can relate. This is this is something I deeply understand. I resonate with on a level you cannot possibly comprehend. I too wish to just kick people. I am uninstalling and reinstalling Clownfish in the lab. I wasn't. I wasn't gonna kick her. Why would you think I'd kick her? I wasn't gonna kick her because I've seen you kick people before. Apparently unprovoked, or due to complicated reasons, only you understand. The best reasons to kick people, I find, <laughs> traditionally. Alright, fine, guilty as charged. Still, I'm gonna need to do something about her. I feel like I just need to. It's a matter of honor. Honor, she says. Well, maybe honor isn't the right word. But she has potential, and I'm not going to let her waste it. Jill, I'm going to go check the antenna on the roof. Alright. Thanks, Dana. She's your boss, right? Didn't you meet her before? No, I'm just the veterinarian. The dogs were the ones that organized a meeting with her. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I thought she was a business person. Uh, yeah, I kind of figured that the, this, these two were where the dogs came from. <laughs> well, yeah, I figured they were, because that's what she, because they said that, but I like the, because I thought she was, like, one of their business people, but she's, she is their vet. <laughs> I'd say she's really good looking, but honestly, those pants rob her of her charm. What do you mean? They make her look too uptight, and at a glance, she doesn't seem like the type. Some shorts or a skirt would fit her better. Well, she wears a skirt or pants depending on her mood. There's also this one time where she came in wearing a kilt. That kilt was awesome! Damn, she has nice hair. <laughs> Yoon! Oh. Hello, can you hear me now? There it is! There we go. <laughs> Finally! Now that I think about it... You have that hobby of speculating what someone's personality is like based on just their looks. 
I mean, same with Jill here. Amazing. You actually made that sound weird as hell. <laughs> yes, I have the habit of trying to guess someone's behavior based on their look. Oh, yeah, it no. sounds weird as hell when I say it. It doesn't sound weird as hell when you do it, huh? <laughs> no, it's not a hobby. You make it sound like I'm some sort of creep. Uh, I did? What did you think about me? Nothing much, really. Most that you were too, mostly that you were too polite. Not a natural polite, though. More like a professional polite. You're like that because you need to be. It's not too off. That's it, really. Although the way you looked at me when I said your boss could use a skirt or shorts was interesting. You this seemed a lot of them. You seemed interested in what I said, like you'd like to see that scenario. Staff, it's a lot of them. You think it too much. What do you think about Gilbert? Hmm. Hmm. He's either a total simpleton or acts like one in a way that consumes the rest of his character. I have to turn it off. I have to turn off the robot sound. Are you able to there we go. I was about to say, are you able to just disable it and re-enable it like I'm able to do with mine? I'm so paranoid that it's going to stop working again. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I'm just a veterinarian. My judgment might be clouded by seeing so many furry businessmen. <laughs> <laughs> That's working again. Let's have another round. Sounds like a good idea. I'll have... You'll have something strong. You need to pump some testosterone into your taste and drink. Oh, so I'm a trans man. Okay. <laughs> You'll thank me later, trust me. Then... Two strong drinks. Manly drinks. I don't care which ones. Well... You shut up. Alright. Betty really said, Deal, stop being a bottom. <laughs> <laughs> stop she being really a did. Aggressively said, stop being a bottom. <laughs> <laughs> stop being a submissive bottom. <laughs> anyway... Punch. Every submissive trans man has their uh, their aggressive lesbian. Yes. For example, Susie. <laughs> I don't know if I characterize Susie as aggressive. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll work we'll work on it. We'll work on it. <laughs> we'll work on it. What is that supposed to mean? To work on you being it. aggressive. <laughs> Here. Now drink. <clears throat> oh, man up. You'll get used to it. Hey, Jill. Has someone ever proposed to you as a prank? What the fuck? You know, made you think that they're falling in love with you just to reveal that it was all a prank. Betty, did you do that? <laughs> yeah. First year of high school, the guy I had my eyes on for a whole year had asked me out. Saturday morning, I go to the meeting place, and what do I find? It was all a prank by some bitches. Ouch. Sorry, I... The worst part isn't that they set me up, but rather that I saw it coming. I knew that guy wouldn't find me attractive enough to ask me out. I knew those bitches would target me sooner or later just for kicks. I knew it all, so when it all happened, I felt nothing. It confirmed my suspicions that teenagers are a plague that must be eradicated. Uh, second in. Yeah. I hate that shit. Give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. Uh... Good. You screenshot it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> We're going to start posting that in the Cloud Palace. <laughs> Every time Buggy steps out of line. <laughs> Good. Anyway, why the question? Hey, 
hey, piece of scrap. Yeah. These are the situations where you should have stopped me before I said anything. It's better to learn by tripping yourself. Why the question, though? Um... Just asking because one of my ex's cousins has been hitting on me the past couple of days. If it were somebody else, I'd pretend to be straight with the help of this piece of scrap here. Pretend to be straight. Haha, so you're can, weird. So we can, in fact, confirm. Let's be honest. Yes. Sadly, she knows who I am. Worst part is, knowing Vero, she probably put her cousin up to it as a practical joke. Well, I'd suggest telling the cousin that she should cut it out. If she feels genuinely offended, they might not have been in cahoots. But I'm just spouting nonsense based on what you've told me. Don't pay too much attention. It's better than my suggestion. What was yours? Waterboarding. <laughs> I love Betty! <laughs> Betty kicks ass! I see- wait, what? The fact that she knows how to water waterboard somebody is what scares me most. It's not hard. The Girl Scouts also taught me how to skin a deer, and I see nobody I see nobody making a fuss about that. The I Girl love Scout her! Well, the Girl Scouts taught you how to waterboard, okay. Betty, you know what? Betty is my favorite! <laughs> Checks out, cracks, checks. <laughs> Betty's my favorite. Uh, I'm no, here for I, it. My screenshot from earlier is, is fucked a little bit. Um, oh no. I'll have to go back and get it later. I am here for Betty content. <laughs> <laughs> Best Valhalla girl. <laughs> but yeah, your advice sounds good enough. Especially when you factor in that if Jean is being honest about her, she probably won't feel offended. Gina. Which one was that again? Blonde, flat as a cutting board, but cute as a button. Oh yeah, she came to the office Christmas party, right? That's the one! Well, it's getting late, we should be going. Yeah. Thank you again for everything, Jill. Bye! Please come again. Yes, please do. <laughs> Turn this off. Those damn cats moving the internet antenna. Just damn. Oh yeah, Gil, some guy said I should tell you what the bunny's late, or tell you that the bunny's late, whatever that means. Oh shit. <laughs> Boss, I'm leaving early. I, if I don't come back in two days, consider me as good as dead. Yeah, yeah. Gil, what do you do? What do you do, Gil? Shouldn't we be worried? Think of him as a kid that tells outrageous stories to get attention, and everything will be easier. <laughs> Besides, he knows how to take care of himself. Yeah. He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. In any case, I'll be back in my office. Maybe now I can finish watching that didgeridoo tutorial. Oh, it's ah, Scarlet it's Otaku! Here. Hello, Jill. Ah, Stella, you're here for another drink today. Not really. I was just around the neighborhood, and... Right. Anyway, I found this bottle being neglected at my house. And thought someone who likes old liquor as much as you would appreciate it. Really? I don't know what to say. Thanks. Well, it's nothing, really. Uh, this just in. The Apollo Trust Bank has locked its doors, leaving about 30 people trapped inside. The security system was activated after somebody tried to steal information from the main database. Early this morning, the bank... God say! I wonder if she'll be alright. Yeah, something's happening. Ah, hello, Jamie. Uh, I guess I'll be our combat veteran over here. I was about to say, Avi was the one that that read this one. But... What's up? What, what's the what's Good the evening, guy? Jill. <laughs> what's the fucking guy's name from uh from fucking Deus Ex? He looks like I'm, him. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did you see the news about the Apollo Trust Pink? News flash just ended. 
Actually, you know what? Exactly. Let me let me just let me just let me just. Oh yeah, you got clownfish open. <laughs> I do have clownfish open. We could always just lower my voice to comedic levels. Oh, that's still robot though. Like so. This is, what about there now? Go. Oh, there it yeah. is. There you go, yeah. I had to turn it on. I turned it off. From what I heard, uh, from what I heard, there was commotion earlier today. Something about people being unable to leave the building. Let's hope for the best. Yeah. Gil stormed off just a minute ago, though. I see. I guess the bunny was late. He definitely knows what's going on. What can I get you? Give me a Mars Blast. Coming right up. I'm not gonna do a gruff thing, it's gonna fuck up my throat. Mm. <laughs> I got work tomorrow. You do have babies to yell at. They're not babies. They're more violent. More calculated. They like they like the girls like to engage in more psychological warfare than babies do. Hmm. You get a lot of babies engaging in psychological warfare there, Yoon? Uh -huh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the traditional forms of baby of reverse baby psychology. One Mars blast. Yeah, this is the one. Mars must have always seemed poorly named to me. Shouldn't it be red instead of yellowish? And again, the whole red planet thing is still its nickname. Yeah, can't believe I'm myself. <laughs> Streaming chance still there. Hey, who's this girl? Uh, she calls herself Streaming Chan. She's been streaming her life 24-7. Uh, I'm guessing her equipment's still running, so you might want to watch what you say. Thanks for the advice. Changing the subject a bit, uh, have you been hearing explosions or something throughout the day? <clears throat> I heard that a supersonic drone was undergoing tests and lost its course. That might be it. Oh. Hey, <gasps> Didn't Avi use the grubba voice for this character? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, excuse me. Um. Hey, boss, there we go. Were caught. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Hey boss, the ex hey, boss, the explosions were caused by supersonic drones. That sounds better than firecrackers. We've been trying to figure out what they were all day. Ah, I see. Sonic booms are not sounds people can normally identify. And this one, and this one drone made a lot of noise when breaking the sound barrier. Is this an area to test that kind of stuff? It's not. Which makes the whole thing quite suspicious. Huh. Man, if only Gil was here to hear that info. He, he thought they were gunshots. You worried about him? Sorta. Of. He always leaves without notice for days, but he always comes back unscathed. I'd be lying if I said I'm not worried, but at the same time, I've kind of just become used to it. He can be a troublesome man, huh? Sometimes. Say, do you think the people in the bank will be alright? This isn't the first time a bank has closed, has closed like that, but something is... off about this. I don't know. Maybe it's the hour. Maybe it's the fact the news is making an unusually big stink of it. You love the chipmunk voice for him? Yeah, I know, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope I'm just overthinking it. Yeah. Are you worried about something? Well, a girl that was in here yesterday said she was going to that bank. It's not like me to be personally invested in what happens to clients, but... <sighs> Never mind. You want something else? Yeah. I can make time for one more drink. Fetch me a beer. Let's keep it simple. Sure. Alright. Here it is. 
Malahide, take Bronson Extract, Blood Powder Delta, take Planet. Uh, all next. Here. I once read that beer played a, an important part in humanity's history. Yes, it's a superb owl. Yeah, I'm familiar with the theory. It's an interesting one. The gist of it is that brewing was an important part of society during its development. Drinks were ubiquitous while feasting. They helped to foster bonds and build faction alliances. Given enough time and enough beer, larger societies would be born. You seem to know a lot about this. Nah, just enough. Chill. Have you ever thought about brain uploading? Brain uploading? I was thinking, what's the point of uploading yourself if you're still here? Let's say you upload yourself and, effectively, that new someone's in cyberspace. You will still be here. Wouldn't it be weird to know that there's a you that's not you somewhere? That's an interesting point. Guess it'd be the same as cloning, huh? Imagine your cyber cyberspace self found out about the real you somehow. Hell, imagine talking to your other self. There's more. Imagine placing multiple copies of you in different situations. Exposing each one to different scenarios to see how they develop. I guess it is kind of heartbreaking in a way. Imagine someone with some illness uploading their brain into the ether. Only to find out that their physical bodies are still alive and here instead of living in some place where there is no disease. I remember an article from a while back about the earliest forms of brain uploading. It would scan the brain in such a thorough and intense manner that it would effectively kill the person. It used the words, burn the brain. Ouch. All for nothing because the data would be corrupted or broken. They halted all brain uploading research after that. I think they started another project about leaving brains in jars or something after that. That subject interests you, huh? It makes for a nice time sink when I'm doing nothing. Well then, nice talking to you, Joe. Same here. Always a pleasure. Say hello to Gillian for me when he comes back. Please come again. Whew, all done. You wanna stay here? Seems the street's quite restless. Thanks, but I'll pass. I have a couple of matters to attend to at home. You do? Yeah, I ordered a nano camo module for my apartment. Should be installed by now. Nano camo? Isn't that a tad expensive? Yep, to be honest, I asked from my, my mom for it. She had been pestering me about what gift I wanted for Mega Christmas for a while. She's been asking that for four years now, and I've always said that I was fine. So I took the chance and asked her for it. I uh, used up all the past gifts. Oh, it's a bit weird to ask your parents for a gift like that when you're 27. I'm sure she doesn't mind. So, what will the Nemo Camo module change for your apartment? I got the basic plan. Walls and one piece of cloth, so I picked my Kotatsu too. You have a Kotatsu? Kotatsu? Yeah, Kotatsu. You said it right. That's what yeah. it says. Okay. Yeah. You know what a kotatsu is, boss? I'm more impressed that you know what it is. I mean, futons are common knowledge, but a kotatsu, not so much. Yeah, well, these get cold and the heater might not be enough. Oh, they're the, like the little blanket table things. Yeah. yeah. I, I've okay. been saying that, I've been saying when I move out on my own, I want one too. Yeah, I, I, I was sitting here not knowing, I was sitting here not knowing what the fuck was being said, so. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty Hi, easy. I'm from, on culture. From what I hear, they're actually pretty easy to make. Cause you have to like, um, like if you take like if you build like a basic table, and then you put like a really big like a like a an electric blanket for like a whole ass bed, uh, on top of it, and then put like a tabletop on top of the blanket, then you can just plug the blanket in. So you can, you can make a makeshift one pretty easy. I 
Even the Japanese have mastered how to live comfortably in a reduced spaces. True. You should invite me sometime. I want to see how you decorate the place with that. Let's plan a day and grab a beer, yeah. No more dancing. <laughs> I'm tired. What do we do with her? I'll take care of everything, don't worry. Alright, sorry for leaving her like this. No problem. Oh, I gotta go. See you tomorrow, boss. Careful out there. Avi, you missed your chance to do the grub a voice, so it's I had okay. to improvise. It's okay, <laughs> I, I have a headache, so I don't want to do any voices right now, I just kind of want to chill. Okay. I don't remember, is Four a robot? You a robot cat? Yeah, I don't remember, is he a robot cat? Probably. That's never been explained, actually. Is he an All Might? Don't. <laughs> what are you talking about? All Might's not in this game. I've never. Don't worry about it. Though. Don't worry about Listen, it. Don't worry can, about it. I can tell you comfortably that of like all like future techno punk technology I've ever seen, the thing I want the most are All Mates. I want a fucking dog that I can talk to. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I want a I want a little fuzzy kitty that won't give that won't give the people around me allergies that I can tell love that I love and he will understand. Oh no, he's he's not a real cat. He's not a robot. He's a real cat. Anyway, uh, Apollo, Bank, Apollo Bank is being attacked. It's a no spoiler. One is it. Are you actually surprised? Considering the nature of their threats, it's clear that Quincy doesn't want to take the blame. What a fucking coward! Do we have any sources there? I'm posting from this site, and it looks like someone's inside the bank with a huge bomb threatening to blow up the building. Any demands? They want Quincy to quit and the White Knights disbanded. Wow, so they're actually helping the protesters? Um, not the way to help people. Or, that's not the way to help people. What if this is just a huge false flag to blame the opposition? I wouldn't be surprised. This fucking place, lol. Let's wait for more info. This threat is passed. Did anyone see last night's escapade? She was at the Valhalla bar. It was alright. The bartender was a cutie, but the man is, uh... But man, is she full of herself. Don't care. I'm going next week to ask her for a date. Nice. We all know you won't. Pretty sure nobody here has the guts to ask someone out. She's still sleeping? Yeah, the bartender has been telling everyone they need to be careful with their words. Lol. I wonder if there's illegal activity going on there. Like, what would you need to say to be careful with what you say? Maybe they're avoiding casual racism? True, As still. opposed to competitive racism. <laughs> well, that's look. That's just running for government. For for uh for government. For all. Yeah, that's just running. it's just it's just colonization. I was going. To, wow, those were three completely different answers because my joke was going to be. Yeah, people play Call of Duty competitively. <laughs> they also play League competitively. True enough. True. Still, it wouldn't be rare for them to do shady stuff. This fucking city. At least she's sleeping now. Last time I saw her taking some rest was about a week ago. Crash is one hell of a drug. Yeah, it sounds shady when they put it that way. Yeah, hold on, what was the song? May the gods guide stay to safety. Yeah, good point. <laughs> the white knight just fucking... beat me up, POV, you're Dracula. I'm fucking crying right now, let me tell you the story. Waiting for OP to deliver. I'm here, anyway, here it goes. I was going home after buying groceries at the store. I was very tired because I had to line up for hours just to buy milk. And when I'm finally out there, a group of three white knights stopped me and started asking for my ID. And also wanted to see my bag to check if I wasn't a scalper. Once they saw everything was in order, they asked me for a military <laughs> device ID. And just, oh, what the fuck? Why would I have that on me? When there's no enforced uh, conscription anymore, it doesn't make sense. And because I didn't have it on me, they asked me for money or else they would plant drugs on me. I, of course, refused, but they would, uh, but they would lose their patience, and one of them hit me right in the temple with a gun. I was bleeding like crazy on the floor, so they just took my groceries and left. Holy shit, man, I fucking hate this place. I hate it so much. I just want to leave this fucking hellhole. I'm so tired of this shit every fucking day. Um, uh, uh, pausing this, um, uh, allegory for police brutality for a second, um, D Infiltrator says, uh, Donovan is a diamond in competitive racism. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Very probably. The quartering is a platinum. 
<laughs> Hitler was a bad guy, but... <laughs> <laughs> but check out his stats. I've been lucky to never have to, that kind of problem with the White Knights, I guess. Alright, um, so that's the four chan forts. The only um, problems you ever have are saving, stupid, in public. Yeah. Alarms rise as the Apollo Trust. Uh, the Trust Bank suffers terrorist attack. Hijack screens at downtown Casanova announced that it seemed to be a terrorist threat aimed at Apollo Trust Bank. The information suggests that a currently unidentified bomber is already inside the building. The White Knight's counterterrorism unit responded to the threat immediately. However, the bank was then locked down by an external network attack. We might be dealing with a dual threat here, CTU's Chloe Farr told AE. The bank has been sealed to shut using its own disaster prevention system. However, none of the terminals at the bank were working at the time. The building is basically sealed at this point. The hostages were trapped. Okay. Yeah, hope Say is alright. Dude, just protect Say. That's the big thing. Protect Say at all costs. Good, good Herbo. The augmented eye is being attacked. What do you think about Jim Bay being. Or <gasps> Look at his baby! Racism against Fishman? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. You heard about Fishman racism? Yeah. Crazy. Crazy dog. Hey everyone, we take your security seriously here at Augmented Eye, and we have the obligation to disclose that recent articles on Alice Rabbit were vandalized by who we think is Alice Rabbit. Or a very good impersonator. We want to extend our apologies and inform that we'll be limiting our coverage of Alice Rabbit for just, uh, to just factual news and not entertainment pieces. Sincerely, the AE staff. Thank god I don't pay these fuckers for a sub. <laughs> yeah. Pollution to reach historic levels next year. Even though most countries in the world have to adapt to their economies to solve the ongoing problem of climate change, Glitch City still relies on ancient technologies in order to keep costs low with profits high. As a result of this backwards policy, it seems as though we'll be experiencing a huge increase in air pollution next year. Our contamination levels uh, will force the whole population to move away from a lot of areas within the city. The soil is dying at an alarming pace, said experts in a report. Having to buy special raincoats and umbrellas does suck, but experts say you better get used to it. How long until someone says pollution is good? There's a book. Plastic is good for the environment, actually, so says someone at a professional conference in front of other people. This is not a joke. Yeah. Okay, nothing on Mickey's blog. Check the nano camo! See what you can turn your cool room into. Brad? Question mark. This fucking ten thousand. Can you That's preview me. them? I want to see what that looks like. No, you can't. Oh wait, there was another section there. I just saw it. Table as well. So Heaton, I, I got something you'll get a kick out of. Um, so I don't know if you've noticed, but my current status on Discord is Toji's fat fucking tits. Yeah. Um, and I have a friend who has is I don't want to say terminally horny, but you can just say Ellie. It's okay. No, it, it's not Ellie. Oh my god! What? Someone you someone you guys do not know. Okay. Uh, just comes into my DMs and says, "Hot, uh, who's Toji?" <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this is gonna be great. So I just post pictures of Toji, and I'm like, it's him. And he just that? says, and he just says, oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> what do you mean? Because <laughs> he's straight. My man's fucking immaculate fucking titties. Unfucking believe. I'm asexual, and I acknowledge that Toji's that Toji has a nice rack. Come on now. Anyway. We've read the news, we've read the 4chan boards, we've done the day. I think it's about time to stop the stream. Um, so, yeah, tomorrow is, I think, Mystery Dungeon. Yeah. Hell yeah, um, Saradus can finally back. So, uh, see you guys tomorrow. Later, guys. Bye.